Hello, my lovely, lovely goddesses. Thank you for coming back for another episode here on my channel. I'm Ashe, and today we're gonna be talking all about fitness goals and how to stay consistent. Keep watching. how hard it is to make goals and stick to them so you're like okay i'm gonna lose 10 pounds i'm gonna do this i'm gonna drink more water and you start picking up all these habits and then you don't really stick to them because you added on too much at once i'm gonna give you seven of my best tips to actually keep consistent keep your goals you know aligned with where you are and how to actually achieve them in 2019 let's do this so my first tip step one is to start small you don't want to go in guns blazing like i'm gonna work out seven days a week i'm gonna only drink water i'm not gonna eat any dairy or meat trust me i've been there i've done that so the key to actually smash your goals is to actually take them on one thing at a time you don't want to start out you know doing everything at once and not really knowing you know what you're being consistent with what you're not so literally each month just take one small thing that you want to accomplish and start tackling it so let's say this month I don't want to drink any soda so i'm gonna cut out soda completely for just this month apparently it takes 21 days to 66 ish one or the other in order for you to actually start making a new habit or breaking a habit for the first month just take one small thing that you want to accomplish and focus on that one thing and then next month add another thing onto that the next month add another thing and so on and so forth and you're not going in like trying to do everything at once because you will burn out i'm telling you when you're trying to stop so many things at once or build up and start adding too many things to your daily routine at once you're gonna get overwhelmed and that's gonna make you essentially want to quit and that's not what we want to do we want to conquer our fitness goals we want to make them our bitch okay so you want to conquer things one thing at a time okay so then we're gonna move on to part two step two you want to make a workout plan for yourself a workout schedule for yourself something that you can abide by something you can stay consistent with something that's going to work with your schedule and you're not going to be bored or tired the key to this is actually finding balance so you want to have days where you're going to do like high intensity training days where you're going to do low intensity training and then days where you're going to rest and refeed your body so you really just want to aim for balance here so like each and every day set aside like you just target one month muscle group at a time or so you can combine to like for instance I like to do like back and chest together so my back and chest days are Tuesdays so I go and I do only focusing on back and chest um, then you have your leg and hump day so your butt your quads your hammies so you really want to just balance out your workouts have a day specific have each day specify for each workout so you want to make sure that you're tackling everything you don't want to you know overdo your cardio you don't want to overdo booty day you just want to make sure it's balanced so tip number three is to be patient i know i know you're so tired of hearing it but patience is literally what will make or break your fitness journey you have to be patient with yourself give yourself time to actually you know process everything that's going on give your body time your body's probably like whoa hold up bitch. What, what's going on so you really have to take the time to sit down with yourself and say okay progress is coming progress is coming don't stop don't quit because that time that you quit that's exactly when your progress is about to come so you really have to just realize it's not gonna happen overnight realize that your body needs time to adjust and start making these changes nothing is going to happen in a week or two or even a month sometimes Th that doesn't mean you need to stop working that means you need to go harder that means you just need to start picking your pace up that means you need to start challenging your body make sure you're challenging yourself but also just be patient with the growth and the process enjoy the journey and allow it to unfold how it's supposed to it's not a rush it's not a race you need to allow yourself time to get to where you're trying to go so be patient i promise it'll pay off okay tip number four all right y'all this is key to any type of fitness journey now i'm gonna need you to come a little bit closer tip number four 
don't you ever compare your beautiful body and your beautiful journey to anybody else's journey, okay? It's just, it's a fucking mind battle. You're allowing yourself to, to think like, oh, they're there. They're already, they already lost 100 pounds. I still haven't lost 20. I'm still like, you know, don't let those negative thoughts ruin what you got going on for yourself. Like, I suffer from this a lot because as you know, like we're on the gram, we're on Facebook, we're on social media and we see everybody, you know, go killing it, smashing their goals, losing pounds, you know, that's fine and that's dandy, but that does not mean that progress is not coming. That does not mean that you're not going to get there. You have to keep going and do not look at other, if there's someone on your feed that is making you feel as if you are not capable and that you do not have, you know, what they have, then you need to get rid of that person because really baby, it's all all about you and it's all about what you got going on so you don't need to worry about what other people have going on now it's different if they inspire you you know if they give you a push but just be who you are be true to your journey and let it all unfold before you do not compare yourself to anybody but yourself okay moving on step number five one of my favorite favorite things to do throughout the fitness journey is to simply take pictures. Now this can be any kind of pictures. You can do progress pictures, you can take a mirror selfie, like, you know, just like looking at your body and seeing where it's at. These pictures will essentially save your life because there are moments where I don't think I'm making progress. I'm like, oh my God, like I've been working so hard. Why do I not see any changes? And then I'll go and I'll take a picture and I'll look at a picture of myself like a month ago, a few months ago. And I'm like, damn girl, you are making progress. Stop fucking second guessing yourself. Don't underestimate your power. Don't underestimate how beautiful you are. And don't underestimate your body's ability to change. Like these photos will definitely reveal to you exactly what you're going through like you see oh okay so i need to work a little bit more on my lower abdominals oh, okay so my booty is lifting a little bit all right we're gonna up the weight now you know so you start realizing you start looking into yourself and you're like okay i'm changing and i'm liking the changes i'm seeing so you definitely want to take photos even if it's really bad right now use them use those photos you don't have to post them or anything but have them so that you can look back you be like damn bitch you really did like whew. and then you look back at yourself you're like wow like I really did this and I'm really going further on this journey. So always, 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 no matter how bad you may think it is, take a picture. Tip number six, always try to remember and take yourself back to who you were when you first started your journey. Take yourself back to before you started your journey. Think about like why you started. Think about, you know, what reasons it is that you are on this weight loss journey. Think about the reasons why you're trying to be more fit or more healthy. Think about the cause of the reasons that you're making these changes because that's gonna take you to a space. And it's gonna take you to a space that's like, I, I started this for a reason and I, I'm, I'm definitely on the right path. I just have to keep going and I have to keep sprinting and I have to keep my eye on what it is that I want. Keep it, that's it, like, just focus. It's not a sprint, it's not a fast, it's not, you know, some quick get fix, get fit scheme, I don't know. It's not any of that, it's a lifestyle change. You literally need to readjust your life and it's not just physical, it's mental. It's so mental because you can talk yourself out of anything and then that's gonna like, it's gonna deter you from the path that you already been on. So you really wanna just take time to sit back and focus on your why. Why did you start? Why are you doing this? Why are you here? Think about that every day. Remember your why, that's gonna motivate you. That's gonna keep you going. Just think about why you started. And my last and final tip, tip number seven, is just don't be so hard on yourself. Like, I get it, it's a hard thing, it's a long journey, you're in it for the long run, but just try not to be hard on yourself throughout the journey. And that goes anywhere from like pushing yourself too hard, trying to cut out too many things at once, not getting the right amount of nutrients because you're trying to cut back on calories. Like really, you still wanna love your body and you still wanna show it love. And when you show it love, it'll love you back. By that, I mean, you're gonna start looking how you really wanna look. So just really just do better. 
right? And even if you miss a day or if you you mess up or you eat something unhealthy at one point or you don't work out one day, that doesn't mean you give up, okay? One mess up should not ruin a whole like month's work, few months work of, of time. And I've made the mistake of doing that a lot. Like I'm like, oh, I didn't go to the gym this week. I'll start next week. Like, no, fucking start now. Go the next day and smash it. If you had a soda today and you're like, oh, fuck, I had a soda. I might as well get a soda later. No, bitch. Drink you some water. Like, balance. I'm not saying you can't have that cookie. I'm not saying you can't have that soda. But you want to find a neutral balance so that you can still reach your goals. Like, you can still have everything you love and admire. But it takes hard work. And it takes self-discipline. And it takes balance. And it takes knowing what you're doing and what you're not doing. And you want to find that balance. So always just remember, you know it's a lifestyle change it's not gonna happen overnight be patient with yourself don't rush yourself into you know the whole you know fitness scheme that everybody's on like take your time pace yourself like be inspired be motivated but definitely always just check back in with yourself and be like all right what's why am i doing this like what, what am i doing here yeah that's pretty much all there is to it um those are my seven best tips like these this is how i've stayed consistent throughout the entire year last year. This is how I'm still working towards my goals now. Like these are all valuable tips that will get you to where you wanna be. So just go ahead, write some stuff down if you need to, start setting your goals, start focusing. It's only the second month of 2019, so we're still ahead of the game. We still got 11 months to make shit shake. So let's just let's just do this shit like stop making excuses stop questioning yourself stop doubting yourself and get your ass to the gym and start eating some vegetables because it there's no more time for games baby summertime is right around the corner so just focus in if you've been on your journey congratulations if you are starting get started now congratulations for starting congratulations for watching this video congratulations for trying to achieve something this year i really 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 hope this helped you and if it did go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me leave a comment if you have any questions concerns shoot me a dm on my instagram ashe ashe and if you really need some help you can dm me there i reply to everyone okay i do not discriminate i make sure that i get to everybody so if you have any questions at all whatsoever hit your girl up leave a comment below like i feel like nobody really comments on my videos and i really want to know like what you guys think about the stuff that i'm putting out like am i helping you am i not like i i want to help and i want to make sure i'm giving you valuable content so hit that subscribe button hit the notification button if you want to know when your girl is posting because i'm definitely about to get this shit shaking because i finally like narrowed in on like what the fuck i want to do so this is going to be so exciting it's a brand new journey thank you so much for watching this video and you have a wonderful day namaste ashe have a good day peace